guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a slightly different video. We are outside in my back garden because it's lovely weather today. So I thought I might as well just film outside in the garden because why not? So I have been gifted another lovely gifted item. This is a promotion video again, I'm sorry. But I have so much promotion stuff that I need to get out there at the moment. So just hang on in there guys. So yeah. So I've got this lovely promotion from this lovely company, I'm just covering my address, called Hoogly Tea. Hoogly Tea is like a Swedish, uh, uh, do you remember back a couple of years ago when um, it was called Hoogly, I think it was, or Hoogly, Hoogly. Hoogly Lifestyle was a massive, massive thing. It was like hot chocolate, all cosy and cute and aesthetic. And that's basically, they just kept on the trend and released tea. So I'd like to thank the lovely lady Tia from Hoogly Tea who gifted me this wonderful item and left me a nice little cute little message there. And yeah, I'm just so excited. So I'm just going to talk you through which teas she's given me and then you're going to watch me try them. So I have kindly been gifted uh, the Raspberry Licorice and Lavender Black Tea. This looks like this. And they look like that out the back. I've been also gifted sparkly white tea lemon and ginger rhubarb and vanilla earl grey and an english breakfast so they've kind of gifted me absolutely loads of different flavors for teas now i am absolutely tea obsessed i love a good cuppa and I like my comfort, so I've never really tried any different flavours teas apart from an English breakfast. The only, when I say different flavours, I've probably had an English breakfast, a Yorkshire, PG chips, but they're all kind of roughly the same sorts of tea. They're not, oh, they're not glasses over. Um, they are different, as these are fruity teas. So I am really, really excited to give them a go. So my, so my mum has kindly boiled me some hot water in two glasses like so, so I can give them a try. I'm just going to wait for her to come out because I think she might be trying them with me, but she's not going to have a face on camera. But yeah, pretty much. I am so, so, so excited. And I can't wait for you guys to see all the amazing, amazing flavors and stuff. Like, pretty much, yeah. Um, so, the good thing about this company is, um, I have to say, the people who I've spoken to from this company are so, 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 so lovely. Like, they're all so lovely. They made me feel so happy. If I have any questions, they can help. So, yeah, that's a really, really nice thing about this company. Tell a lie, it's not Swedish, it's Norwegian. Nor Nordic. Nordic. That's what it's called. Nordic, not Swedish. So, yeah. Pretty much. You ready? Yep. Okay, okay, so we're gonna try. So, I think we should try the raspberry licorice and lavender one first. Are we having a cup each or? No, no one cup of shit. Okay, so we're gonna try the raspberry licorice and lavender black tea, which is Sri Lankan black tea, licorice, aniseed lavender, raspberry pieces, and natural flavourings. So. It says contains licorice. People suffering from hypertension should avoid excess consumption. So, I'm just gonna give it a go. Ooh, it smells really fruity. So, I'm gonna drop in the little bag. The cute thing about their bags are they got a resealable thing on the back. So, they can stay fresher for longer. And then I just have to open this up to slip them. So yeah, their little bags are made out of fabric, so they're like mum said, they're eco-friendly as well. I don't know if you can see, I'll bring it a bit closer to the camera so you can see. So it's made from fabric like that and it's got the little tag on it. So yeah. And we're also gonna try the rhubarb and vanilla one which has got hibiscus, Chinese green tea, rhubarb pieces, sunflower petals, chanula petals and natural flavourings. Ooh, 
Ooh. That one smells like rhubarb and custard. Ooh, I like that one. This smells nice. It does, isn't it? So I'm going to put this one in as well. So this one looks like this. So that's what this one looks like. So this one, the rhubarb and ginger, no, rhubarb and vanilla one can be sat for three to five minutes and this one, the uh, raspberry licorice and lavender sits for five minutes. So we'll drink the rhubarb one first. And then we're also going to try, I'm going to leave the English breakfast and Earl Grey until last because they're ones that me and mum have already, you already drink. Mum yeah. drinks Earl Grey and I, it, I don't use it, I drink English breakfast so it's up to you if you want to try them or not. And if not, we can just then try these two and then, yeah. So the last two we're going to try is lemon and ginger and sparkling white and then we'll make up our minds if we're going to drink the English breakfast and Earl Grey. We already drink those two so they're not too different to what we drink normally. Oh, it's not what we wanted to have. I have a feeling we're really going to like the rhubarb one because it smells like rhubarb and custard. It's like the little sweets that you can get. The la la la. The licorice one smells like herbally. I'm not too big of the lavender. Probably. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of licorice, so I don't know how well I'm going to like that one. But we're going to give it a go. Should we give the rhubarb one a go? Mm -hmm. Should I just leave the bag in? So yeah, it definitely smells like rhubarb and custard still. Watch me just like go and swarm by my mouth. That is actually like, tastes different to what I thought it was going to taste. The aftertaste is rhubarb and custard flavour, even though it's rhubarb and vanilla. But it's got like a herbally taste to begin with. Yeah, I don't know, I expect to taste a really strong rhubarb from the first sip, but you get like the aftertaste of rhubarb, don't you? That's fine. No, it's really nice, but it's completely different to what I thought it was going to taste, but you can, I can't taste the vanilla as much, but definitely there's a taste of a kick of rhubarb in there, isn't there? Yeah, I don't know if I can taste the vanilla. Uh, yeah, no, I quite like that one. I'm going to rate that one a 7 out of 10, what do you think? 7? Yeah. So the rhubarb and vanilla green tea is getting a seven out of ten from both of us. Just going to stir the raspberry and licorice one and lavender. I keep forgetting to say the lavender part. <laughs> so this is called black tea at the bottom of this, and you can definitely see it's very black. Oh, it smells like a normal. It smells like normal tea. It tastes like tea, but with a kick of lavender. Yeah, that just tastes like normal tea. Yeah, but like a hint of lavender, isn't it? Very slight hint of lavender. Yeah, no, that's quite nice. I can't taste like fresh or raspberry. Definitely taste the lavender. Yeah. But I don't know if it's probably before I needed it to sit longer because you meant to let it sit for five minutes and don't think it was sat for five minutes. But, no, that's quite nice. I'm going to rate that. A uh, 9 out of 10, Ooh. I think. It's quite nice that one. I didn't think I was, out of all of them, I don't think I was going to like that one because of the licorice, but no, I actually oh. quite like that. Yeah. But we're just going to go and grab some more boiling water so we can do the final two, which is a sparkling white, which is a white tea, and a lemon and gin ginger herbal infusion. So, thank you. Um, so yeah, they've got, in each of these little packets, it has a one indulgent biodegradable tea pyramid, which is really, really, really good. So they're obviously eco-friendly as well, which is super, 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 super good. Mm. Their packaging is eco-friendly as well. So, who can see, you're getting a thumbs up from me from being vegan and being eco-friendly, because obviously a lot of rubbish is really bad. So I'm just going to read out the ingredients and the instructions to the sparkling white G white tea and the lemon and ginger herbal infusion so the sparkling white tea has Chinese white tea apple pieces Chinese green tea lemongrass elderflower orange blossom hibiscus rose rose hip 
orange peel and natural flavourings. And the serving suggestion is heat freshly drawn water for up to about 80 degrees, brew for three to five minutes and drink without milk. And then for the lemon and ginger one, you have 50% ginger, 30% lemongrass and 30% lemon peel. It says heat freshly drawn water, should just stop the boil, brew for three to five minutes and drink without milk. So I'm quite excited about them too. Uh, so we're going to do the sparkling white tea. Again, in the little biodegradable bag. So that is the sparkling white tea bag, what it looks like. Ooh. I don't really know what to... You know when you smell something and you recognise the smell? But you don't know where that smells from. Oh, that's got a strong scent of ginger and that's going to be a spicy one. And that's the ginger, the ginger one. So pop them in. Technical issues. So I've got to let them both sit for three to five minutes. Obviously the longer you let them sit, the stronger the taste will be. I'm obviously not letting them sit for too, too, too long. Obviously, don't want to sit here for forever a day. So, yeah. Um, I'm just, I don't think we're going to try the English breakfast and the Earl Grey because they're just, we know what they would taste like pretty much. They probably taste like different to normal, but, yeah. So, the Earl Grey has Sri Lankan black tea, lemon peel, orange blossom and natural bergamot oil. Boil with freshly drawn water and brew for three to five minutes and drink without milk. And then the English breakfast black tea is Indian Assam black tea with Kenyan black tea. Serving suggestions, boil freshly drawn water and brew for three to five minutes and drink without milk. So all of these you drink without milk, so... Yeah, I'd have an English breakfast with milk, but... There you are. So I totally recommend the company Hoogly. So go and visit their website, I'll read it out to you now, www.hooglytea.com. I will leave the link to their website in the description below so you can go and check them out and go and purchase some amazing tea from them. They have oodles and oodles and oodles to pick from, literally loads. You'll have a field day. If you love tea, you will literally have a field day of trying to pick what teas herbal you want. Tea. Yes, yeah, so if you're a herbal tea lover, seriously, go and check these guys out. They're not that pricey for what you get. The flavouring is amazing, literally amazing. Cool. Do you know what? It smells like um, gingerbread. I know it's the gingerbread, but it tastes like, doesn't taste. It smells like gingerbread. And I'm still trying to figure out what the white sparkling one smells like. You know what I mean? I smell it and I can recognise the smell from somewhere. Mm. Yeah, this has a bit of a citrus, doesn't it? Citrus smell to it. Right, you ready? Yep. Which I will do the ginger one first, yeah? Yeah. I'm actually really, really I feel like I love their little bags. Their bags are so cute. Oh, Grey's gone flying. Right, so starting with the ginger one. So it smells like gingerbread. Clearly because it's got ginger in. I think it's a ginger and lemongrass or something. Uh, lemon and ginger. That's got a lot of flavour in it, but it's not my sort of cup of tea. I can't taste anything. Can you not? No. I can. I can really taste ginger. I can smell the ginger. I can't taste it. Oh no, I can full on, full on got a pelt of ginger when I drank. Maybe I drank all the ginger. It's quite 
got nice on. So yeah, that's I didn't really like that one as much. If you like flavour of ginger and lemon, then it's totally for you. Because I can taste both of them, but mainly the ginger. <laughs> Clearly my mum can't. It's a bit of ginger, but um, I wouldn't say it's overpowering. But, it um, smells more gingery than it tastes. Um, but yeah, that's that I would give a five out of ten. Yeah, about seven. So I'm giving it a five, Mum's giving it a seven. It's the first one we've had opposite opinions on. So the last one we're trying is the sparkling white. This is a white tea. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Sorry, Hoogly. That's not, that's definitely not one for me. It's like bananas. I don't taste like banana. It tastes as if it's smell, but not banana to me. I don't think my taste are gone. <laughs> it tastes like I've just drunk perfume. No offence, Eagley. All your other ones I've really liked, but the sparkling white's not my sort of thing. Um, I like that one as well. Well, you are hit with me, Mum. You were hit with me for most of them, just the last two I didn't really like. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to give that one a three out of Okay. Right, so we've had two different 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 agreements. So we agreed on the seven for the like rhubarb. Even give it a nine. I quite like that one. The rhubarb's being given a seven. The licorice one has been given a nine. The ginger one was a five from me and a seven from mum. And the sparkling white was a three from me and a nine. Yeah, and a nine, nine from mum. So like there one. we go. That is it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining us. Slightly different. Thought I'd try and set the scene a little bit differently. I hope you can hear me due to the wind, but it shouldn't be too windy. Um, and yeah, so please go and check out Hoogly. I'm very grateful for the gifted collaboration that they have given me. And yeah, who knows? There might be some more exciting things in the future from them. So yeah, their tea is absolutely amazing. If you're a herbal tea lover, they will be right up your street. They are absolutely amazing. 100% recommend. And yeah. I think that's it really. I definitely I definitely will want to try some different ones from them as well because they are really really nice. They got the they pack the flavour in it, so yeah, and I love the fact that they're vegan and they're eco-friendly too. So yeah, go check them out. I'll leave the link to their website in the description and the link to their bio uh, bio link to their Instagram in the description and I'll also leave all my socials in the description again at the usual. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again for another video. Thank you. Remember to like, subscribe and comment down below to which which tea sounded the most interesting to you guys. So I'd love to know which ones you guys would like to try. So yes, thank you very much and I'll see you again for another video. Bye!